Shalom, my name is Adam Wasser from Brooklyn, New York. Can Israel, in the future, have a religious uh, or far-right party take over the Knesset? There are 120 seats in the Knesset today, and about uh, 40 of them are for the far-right and the ultra-Orthodox, not including the Likud. And the thing is about this is that if you have about 30 seats in the Knesset, you are the majority party. But the far right wing parties and the religious parties are not the majority because they are made up of about 10 different parties. And they, they have bickering amongst each other, always vying for each other's uh, um, votes. So they, they can't come aligned into one group because of this. Now, if you were to say, well, if they were to come together, if they were to come as one party, they would actually be the majority by far. Way out, of, Likud is getting about 31 seats this election in 2013, and 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 Labor is getting only 17. And the new uh, party of um, there's a new party of I forgot what it's called, uh, not to Ferris, um, whatever. It's a it's a left wing moderate party, but they're only getting 19 seats. And when you look at the religious parties and the far right wing parties, they are by far the majority. But this is no phenomenon. In fact, since Rabin signed a peace treaty with Yasser Arafat in 1991, the right wing, when you look, go back and you look at the history, have been the majority, but because they are not as one party, they look as they are the minority. But in truth, if they were one, that would not be the case by far. If the right wing parties of Israel and the religious parties came together as one party, Israel would would change drastically because we would have a real government that, that stands for Jewish issues and stands for the Jewish people. You know, Likud and, and uh, Labor have something very much in common. They look to appease the Americans and the Europeans. They're always, they believe in a two-state solution. They believe in sometimes freezing settlements, sometimes removing settlements. Both, don't forget, Likud gave up the Sinai back in 1979. You know, the Likud is not a party that is for, for the far right. Likud is a party for the moderate right. They, they, they go by what the flow and the popularity of the American uh, trend is. Netanyahu is a good prime minister. He's a good politician. He's a great politician. But if you really think that he uh, is going to be for the far right, you're out of your mind. He will do what will keep him in power as long as it is not going to the extra step. And in truth, if we really want to settle the Palestinian issue, if we really want to settle the 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 uh, lack of um, you know wealth in Israel, where you have the wealthier over here and the poor and middle class are all the way at the bottom, you know you need extreme changes. You need a real change in Israel, and Netanyahu is not that change. Netanyahu is basically a prime minister that keeps the politics going, keeps the trend going, the wine flowing, shall we say, but does not solve the problem. If we vote for a far-right-wing party, a national party that, that it represents all of the far-right-wing parties, we could have some real change. We could deal with the Palestinians in, in a way that never has been dealt with before. We could make social changes that will help all people of Israel and maybe even lower the standard, um, the, the high price of, of housing in Israel. You know, if you go to Yerushalayim or Tel Aviv today, the, the housing over there is as much as New York City, which is very high. And this is because of our lack of true leadership in the nation. Israel has the ability to do amazing, miracle, miraculous things. And it can, I truly believe, have a right, far right-wing party with a religious base as a majority, and they can form a coalition that can make serious changes in the nation. It's possible. It has happened before in biblical times. You know, if we look at biblical Israel, it's usually always been a secular nation. Whether it was Yehuda or, or, or Israel, Israel has always usually been a majority of secularism. That doesn't mean that it hasn't been far right wing, though. You can be a, a, um, you can be a, a non-religious, you can be a secular Jew, but still be of the far right and respect religious people. And, you know, I think a lot of um, religious people are willing to go into the army. I know a lot of religious people that are like, all right, it's, we'll, we'll go into the army. They don't, it's not maybe they want to. Uh, it depends on the individual. But the problem is, is that when you force uh, the religious, you have to go into the army. That is not the approach to take. You have to show them that you, Israel is for them. 
Israel is for all Jewish people. And by them going into the army, they are helping Israel. You know, if you say, well, I'm, you're going to go in the army and you're going to remove Jewish settlements and you're going to tell Jews that they can't pray at Machal Pela at certain times of the day and, and Yerushalayim, parts of Yerushalayim are cut off. You know, why should a religious person want to serve in, in such an army that, that is against the Jewish people? With a right wing, far right wing party, that can be changed. This new government that has been formed in 2013, it has a lot of work because it's, it's right at the brink of half um, liberal, half conservative and half moderate. It, it, a little piece of everything, you know. But that's a lot of the, the far, right's fa far right wing's fault because they're not unified in the fact that, that we need to have more of one party that represents a larger part of the, of the right wing. And for the Likud and, and Netanyahu to say that they represent me and the far right wing is absurd and nonsense. And anyone who is educated and knows anything about Israeli politics and what is going on there should know Netanyahu is not the representative of the settlers of the West Bank. He is not the representative of, of, the, of the religious of Israel. Netanyahu is a politician. And it is time for change. And in two to three years from now, we should have re-elections. And we should try to push the right, far right wing and religious parties into the majority of the Knesset as one party. God bless you all. Mashiach now.